Hello and welcome to another little short video in my Sequence Generator Pro series and today we're going to be looking at a really fantastic feature of Sequence Generator Pro which is the Framing a Mosaic Wizard. Um, now it really is divided into two sections, there is the framing part and the mosaic part. Now obviously the mosaic part includes framing but the framing doesn't necessarily include the mosaic. So what I'm going to do is do this in two sections, I'm actually going to do framing first uh, for a single frame to just frame an image that you want to take and then we'll have a look at making a mosaic and um, putting those forward into the uh, into the sequence so we'll start off now you'll see i've got two sequence generator pros running and that will become clear in a minute when i explain the way that i believe is the best way to start up the frame in a mosaic wizard now i always start up when i'm going to do a, a mosaic for example I will always start by actually applying the sequence, uh, sorry, applying the profile to the sequence that I'm going to be doing or the mosaic that I'm going to be making. So if you go to File, Apply Profile to Sequence, and then choose the profile that you're going to be using. So I'm going to be using this particular one. Now the reason being, it actually populates your filter information then. So when we go to Tools, Mosaic and Framing Wizard, and we now get to the area where we're going to make up the mosaic you'll see that the camera data here that we're going to be using for this profile is already populated now you will need this camera data in now you can populate this by going to the profile and selecting the profile here but if I show you in this other window that I've got open here if I do it that way if I open up tools framing a mosaic wizard You'll see the data isn't there, so that's fine. I can pick up my data, uh, my profile, and apply it there. But you'll see it's not applied that to the sequence. So when I come round now to uh, creating the sequence, none of this information will be there, and I will have to go and apply the profile to the sequence anyway. Otherwise, I've got no filter data. So it just makes it quicker and easier uh, to apply the profile in the first instance this gets populated, but it also puts all your filter information in. Okay, so we're going to do the first thing we're going to do is, is a single frame. Now, there's various ways that you can um, get an image into a Sequence Generator Pro for the frame in the Mosaic Wizard. Um, I've got various ones here in the object. You can choose an object, so you can go uh, type in M33 and it will drag that information out of its stock images you'll see there it's populated the RA and deck information already um, or you can pull up a, a library image of your own you can actually put one of your own images in you can uh, populate it from Astra bin uh, here you can just choose one of your own images so there's various ways and it's up to you which way you do that so once you've got the image this is it here this is obviously a stock image, this isn't one of mine. Um, and you've got your camera data here. You now need to draw a rectangle. Now just hold your left mouse down and just click any size and it will draw the rectangle based on the image size of your camera. And you can shift that around then. You click and hold the left mouse down and you can just shift it around to wherever you want the framing to be. Now what will happen is the framing will then center on the middle of that frame so the picture the image you take will center on the image center there so if i want that in the center of that frame i can do that it's a single frame so you'll see down here uh, it shows the single tile on each one and i can now create the sequence call it m33 that's fine uh, append targets to the sequence. Now when you make a new sequence you already have target 1 populated. If you if you keep this on append to sequence it will keep target 1 and add this. So I want to replace it because this is a brand new sequence. Um, precision centering, we want that so that you do a plate solve and precision center afterwards. And the associate the working image with the sequence means that this image the background image becomes associated with this particular mosaic so it's ideal to leave that on because if you open your mosaic up in the future it will use that as the reference image click OK and you'll see success create your one new target and you'll see the target now where this would normally be target one in the default 
uh, sequence has now changed to M33. Now at this point what you need to do is save your sequence. So go there, save sequence as, and then save it for whatever, whatever you're going to call it. Um, and then you can go ahead and set up whatever your sequence is going to be. So this is part one. Uh, this is just a single frame, but, but framing your target exactly how you want. And obviously you can move that target around in the, the um, frame and mosaic wizard. Hopefully that's been helpful. Um, in part two, I will go over making a mosaic and setting up all the individual targets in a mosaic. See you soon. Bye.